bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey yo, it's your boy Atomic coming to you with another Bullet Echo video and today we're going to be playing as a max level Raven. There have been so many requests for me to play as Raven and get him all the way maxed out so I'm very excited to bring you guys this video here today. He's a huge favorite on the channel but overall what we're going to be doing is going over his statistics, his abilities and the gears I have equipped and then hopping into two games of King of the Hill and two games of Battle Royale. As always though, in the comment section down below, make sure you go ahead and let me know which hero you want me to play as next. With the fully maxed out, I am going to be going across every single hero in the game and we will make a video on all of them fully maxed out. But of course, I want to cover all the ones that you guys want to see as soon as possible. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. So as you guys can see, Raven has an SMG. I've got him sitting at a power level of 1548. He has 554 health. 436 armor and his gun does 186 damage per shot now the thing with raven is you get punished very very easily due to having that very low health and even lower armor and especially if you don't find armor in the game you are pretty much sitting there and you'll be dying to all of your opponents very quickly he doesn't have any shields or anything like that but the reason why he has such a low health pool is because his first ability right here is scan on ability activation, he reveals the location of enemies within a range of 1200 for 2.5 seconds. He gets plus 30% to primary weapon damage against revealed heroes for 2.5 seconds. In my opinion, I think Raven is actually better in the 3v3, mainly because that scan helps his team out, right? If you have a team, you usually have like a tank on the squad, you have like a sniper, and then having him as an SMG hero is decent but on top of that you get to also reveal where enemies are and move as a unit because you'll always see them the scan actually loads up quite quickly and you'll always be good to go knowing where your opponents are at and the big thing there too is the extra damage against revealed heroes so whenever you do reveal them you want to make a play push onto them and take them down here we have the stim shot general stim right here the hero loses the ability to shoot for 0.5 seconds he gets plus 30 percent to the hero's movement speed for six seconds and it restores 40 health per second to the hero over six seconds the odds on you actually getting a stim off are super low when you're a raven if you get into a fight it's either you're gonna kill the opponent or you're gonna die it's very 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 uh, few um situations where you actually take damage and you live as a raven since his health is super small but you can use the stim to help you chase down opponents or if you happen to take damage and stay alive hit the stim and run away because you need to stay away from these opponents Right here, we've got the training, the passives. He got plus 50% to the hero's movement speed with no aiming penalty, plus 20% to the hero's maximum health, plus 200 to the hero's vision range, plus 20% to the hero's primary weapon damage, and on hitting an enemy, he gets plus 100 to primary weapon aimed fire range for two seconds. I mean, pretty solid passives, to be honest. Nothing insane though. And then we've got the tactician right here on killing an enemy. Disarms enemies within a range of 400 for 3 seconds. And his passive bonuses plus 50 to primary weapon fire range for allies within a range of 400. So that's just to help your team out. More sniper or more, more range in order to pick off those enemies from a deeper distance. And then of course that disarms thing is kind of huge especially in 3v3. Once again, better 3v3 hero allowing your team to pull up on whoever is rotating into you guys because they'll be disarmed for a whole three seconds now when it comes to his skins you guys see i got that nasty plague raven skin it's actually really really cool and moving on to his gears here i've got the full-on skeleton set of course for the eye part um it gives us minus 15 percent to the hero's primary weapon spread and plus six percent to the hero's movement speed we've got the heart part which gives us plus 10 health per second to the hero and plus five percent to the primary weapon damage against enemy health we've got the arm part which gives us plus three to the hero's primary weapon clip size and minus 15 percent to the pickup time for upgrades and then we finish off with the leg part giving us that plus six percent to the hero's maximum health and minus 11 percent to the hero's running loudness we have quite a few buffs on this hero but even so his health pool is still low we do get the bonuses for having all four gears equipped giving us that plus five percent to the hero's primary weapon fire rate and that plus 10 to the hero's aimed fire rate. It's trying to help give him a little bit more of an advantage instead of just being a basic SMG hero. Uh, now, of course, though, we're going to hop into some games now. One game, or I'm sorry, two games of King of the Hill, two games of 3v3 Battle Royale, so you guys can see this Max Raven go to work. 
into the very first game we're gonna start off with a little bit of ammo there's actually armor there as well we need to get our scan up as soon as possible because if we get caught lacking with this here we just die that's life i actually want an extended clip too if i can Nades are coming. Oh my goodness, this is not good at all. I'm gonna stim. I know we didn't lose any health, but. A stalker pulling up is not what our. Is That's not the play for us. Okay, I'm gonna scan him in a second. He doesn't see us coming. I feel like he was playing super cautious. Yeah, it's gonna be another hero here. Take him down. Scan again. Okay. I need to save a scan for the end of the game. This is gonna be sus. Let me see. So we do have somebody coming in here on the left. He's sort of just hugging that corner. I'm okay with that. One, two. They're both over there. I should be able to get this one final scan off before the game's over. Oh, no. Alright, so there... That was actually... I mean, that was a flawless game. I'll be honest with you. That was a flawless game. We got a lot of really good scans off. There is the only time. Like, there was there was a Cyclops. Cyclops was at the very end there. The only time where going up against a Stalker or Ghost Endgame isn't scary is if you have the scan ability and the circle small enough. Because not only do you reveal them, you get them caught lacking. You know exactly where they're going to be. You also deal more damage against revealed heroes. So, Stalker was in a tight match in that game. Because it was either me or the Cyclops I was going to throw off the reveal. Either way, he was going to get caught. So we've got a fully kitted SMG team. I don't know how I feel about that. Double double Freddy and a Raven. That this team is kinda sus, but we're gonna see what we can do. Hopefully he doesn't get that other recharge too. I need to recharge for my scan. This is gonna be so interesting. I don't know. Can I heal him? What? That was scary. Bro, what is my teammate doing there? Took a bastion on head on? What? Alright, let's get the double res. They just team wiped, so I think this is a good time to push in, actually. I want to take out Slayer. I know how badly, I know how badly he wanted to get him up. <laughs> they, were, they needed that Slayer so bad. As soon as he went down the hurricane, knew it. He was like, I gotta get him up. Unfortunately, he didn't have his shield ability ready to go to put it up while he was rising. So we were able to take them both down. Into the next solo game, we're gonna start off with some ammo and armor. Pretty solid start to the game here. Uh, if we can get an ability charger going, that'd be nice too. Got our first scan coming up as well. So we got Firefly back there. I right, Loki, you want to go deal with him? Take him down quickly. Or is that Mirage? I think he backed off. Let's see if he left any ability charges. Yup. They don't need it as badly as we do. So. Wish I could have seen which hero that was.
Oh, she predicted me. There's not that much I could have done. Different besides either do that or bait the same entrance. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, they're about to fight. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we were barely able to take down the Leviathan there. That 200 ammo turret sprayed over the wall. He almost did it to us, but we were able to back off a little bit. I think we were able to get a stim shot off there as well. Put the scan back up to get that additional damage and finish him off. But we barely survived that ex uh, that, that encounter with another tank. Oh, we got double S tier hero for this game. We got the Ghost, the Leviathan. I'm sorry, the Levi. Let me respect her. Let me put some respect on her name. This is going to be pretty fun. Let me scan early. We got team in front of us and team behind. Hey yo, chill. Y'all finessing me. She's just gonna tear them apart, holy. She's just gonna tear. She had a whole. All, I'm pretty sure she did so much damage just lining them up right there. Oh, there's a Levi on their team. Sneak in there. I knew he was in the middle of that fight. We were like, let's just go ahead and push it, make it a little third party, finish that one up nice and easily. So that's gonna be it for today's Raven video. Keep in mind, guys, I know he looks, I mean, first of all, Raven is very, very fun to play. The scan ability is super unique. Being able to work through the small areas on the map, move uh, back and forth and pick your opponents off. It is a lot of fun, but do keep in mind that he dies very quickly. So even though in this video, he looked like he was super strong, if you get caught lacking a lot in this game, you don't know how to position yourself very well in this game, you're gonna have a very hard time playing as Raven. But if you do those things correctly, You'll have a great time, you'll be able to play an amazing hero, and just have fun at the game overall. But either way though, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you go on and enjoy the rest of your day.